Good morning class. I welcome you all to yet another session of online classes. Today I'll continue explaining you the 10th lesson of English honeysuckle text called the banyan tree. If you remember clearly, yesterday I already started explaining this lesson, right? And then we understood that the writer loved his loved spending the day or part of his greater time in the banyan tree which used to present him a broader perspective of life and you know he used to treat it as something which used to show him kind of mirror to the world right so he was quite comfortable sitting in it and he used to study a lot of books also sitting there right so he made quite a lot of friends there by friend we particularly mean to mention about one particular animal called squirrel right other than this yesterday in the far, first part we got to know that a fight was being set up between a mongoose and a what and a what cobra right what is cobra it's a snack king cobra isn't it so it was all about to begin and the writer was in the best of positions to watch it okay so i've just given you a slight summary of what we have done yesterday so i hope you remember if you haven't or if you haven't revised or read it already i recommend i suggest you to read them once again in order to have a clear view or understanding of what we have done and now let's continue reading the second part without wasting any further time clear part 2 10th lesson english honeysuckle text called the banyan tree okay so let's begin i'll zoom it up a bit for your better viewing yeah if you have issue with the quality of video what i suggest is open takes alongside and watch it carefully read it along see the warm breezes of approaching summer had sent everyone including the gardener into the house so it was see during summer season what happened even if wind blows it's quite warm isn't it and nobody is comfortable at all sitting or standing or doing anything outside so people love taking shelter inside the house while the sun is shining brightly so as the warm breeze was blowing and the sun was shining bright almost everybody even including the gardener gardener is supposed to be by garden almost all the time except the time he is sleeping taking care of his diet and all nearby garden right so everyone in that day was uh, you know inside the house okay i was feeling drowsy myself wondering if i should go to the pond and have a swim with ramu and the buffaloes when i saw a huge black cobra gliding out of a clump of cactus okay clump means a group okay and gliding you all know right a snake brushes past things as though it was gliding means it it has smooth movement clear all right so at the same time a mongoose emerged from the bushes a mongoose emerged from the bushes and went straight for the cobra okay so what happened here the writer is explaining the setup to the fight clear it was warm summer winter everybody was inside the house okay he was feeling drowsy himself drowsy what do you mean by drowsy if it is too hot even during class lectures and all if uh, the periods are lengthy or you do not find subject or whatsoever is uh, let's say you are engaged in something and you are not finding it quite interesting sometime even while watching you know something a movie which is not as interesting as you think it is you may feel drowsy means your head is drooping down even without you realizing you know having even you realizing doing so okay without you realizing having done so so yeah so the point was 
feeling drowsy okay and he was considering to go and take a dip into the pool with ramu who's ramu here it could be his friend or housemate we are not sure okay he wanted to go to the pool with ramu and the buffaloes but something held him back to be seated at the place where he was seated suddenly he saw a huge black cobra gliding out of a group of cactus clear and at the same time out came a mongoose from the bushes and he went straight for the cobra I means he was ready to confront cobra as though cobra had occupied his territory okay so mongoose and snakes they are like arch rivals okay so what are arch rivals if we call arch rival rivals means they have been enemy for you know time immemorial okay ever since you remember you must have heard stories about you know mongoose and snakes fighting it out clear so a similar setup was being held here the snake was the mongoose in fact was ready to take on the cobra okay so let's continue reading in a clearing beneath the banyan tree in bright sunshine they came face to face okay so just under the banyan tree uh, where the space was clear and the sun was shining brightly the cobra and the mongoose imagine this is the cobra and let's say this is the mongoose i'm not i'm just giving you an idea clear mongooses are not like this okay so they are now face to face ready to fight each other okay so they are just beneath the banyan tree in a clear space where the sun was shining brightly so both the parties are here around one was about to begin now clear the cobra knew only too well that the grey mongoose three feet long so the mongoose was about three feet long was a superb fighter okay so the cobra was well aware of the fact that the mongoose was a wonderful wonderful fighter clear he was clever and aggressive clever means one who knew how to use his brain was not only grossly aggressive what do you mean by aggressive one who was attacking by nature one who was a taking by what nature clear he was skillful and experienced fighter okay so not only was he aggressive uh, sorry mm, i've mixed i'll just read the sentences for you again okay the cobra knew few facts about the mongoose what are they he was 3 feet long he was a wonderful wonderful fighter he was clever and aggressive at the same time means he knew how to use his brain and at the same time he was aggressive means he was quite attacking by nature okay on the other hand the cobra too had qualities of his own what were some of the qualities he possesses he was a skillful fighter he knew how to use his brain as well and he was experienced as well means he had been doing it for years okay so experience cannot be brushed away experience teaches us a lot of things so this cobra here was experienced champion ready to take on the mongoose as well so this was this fight is going to be engaging okay so let's read further to find out how okay he could move swiftly and strike with the speed of light and the snack uh, sex behind his long sharp fangs were full of deadly poison it was to be a battle of champions okay so the writer had labeled it as a battle of champion because both the animals were master of skill and experience the cobra could move very quickly and his strike is being compared with the speed of light light travels very fast right as soon as you turn on the switch you see a bulb glowing what does it show it tells us that the light is one of the fastest traveling thing okay so the speed of the cobra is being compared here to the speed of light giving us an idea that the cobra was very quick it was fast okay it could strike very quickly okay additionally some other details are given what details are given the sex behind the long sharp fangs what are fangs these are those tooth like structure with which if an animal is bitten it may die okay so right behind his fang there were you know a uh, sex which were full of poison and if those poisons were inflicted upon an enemy it was as good as dead okay 
so that is it now it was labeled yeah so it was labeled as a battle of champions okay Con let's continue reading hissing what is hiss hiss is the sound produced by snake right hissing defiance means he was showing you know sort of rebellion resistance as if he was ready to fight okay his forked tongue what do you mean by fork split snake's tongues are splitted right they uh, they are not plain tongue like humans so they have a uh, fork shaped tongue something like this okay not three uh, tri forked it's bi forked something like this okay so hissing defiance is forked tongue darting in and out the cobra raised three of his six feet of the ground and spread his broad spectacled hood. The mongoose brushed his, brushed his tail. The long hair on his spine stood up. Clear? Yeah. So, spectacular. The rope. The cobra raised this hood. This part of the cobra's head is uh, termed as hood. Clear? Yeah. So, it raised this hood as if to show superiority over the mongoose okay and it raised itself three feet of the ground okay three over six feet of course it means three feet okay the mongoose brushed his tail so mongoose what does he do he rubbed his tail and then the long hair on his spine stood up he was also in defense okay though the combatants who are combatants Combatants are those participants who are ready to fight. Okay, the participants of a physical fight. Though the combatants were unaware of my presence in the tree, they were soon made aware of the arrival of two other spectators. So, this combatants, the fighters with the snake and the mongoose, were not aware that the writer was enjoying a live telecast of the battle between them. Okay, but they got to, you know, know of the presence of two more spectators. One was a mina. Mina is also a bird, right? The other, a jungle crow. So, two more birds had joined in. The writer was, of course, human, not a bird. So, one was a mina, the other was a jungle crow. You know crow, right? Kawa we call in Hindi. They had uh, seen this preparations for battle and had settled on the cactus towards the outcome. So they also, like the writer, had uh, been longing for the battle to begin. And now, since the match was about to begin, they settled themselves on the cactus to watch the live telecast. Okay. Had they been content only to watch, uh, had they been content only to watch, all would have been well with both of them. So the writer is giving us a warning as to something might have happened with one of the birds or both the bird. He said, had they been content only to watch, means if they were satisfied only with watching the match, everything would have been fine with them. So it gives us an idea that something might go wrong with one of the birds or both the bird as the story progresses. Okay, so let us read to find out what would happen. Okay, as of now, we got to know that the match is about to begin. With the writer watching the match from the top of the tree and two more spectators joining in, they were Jungle Crow and the Maina. Okay. So now let's continue. Outcome and result. I hope you know that already. So see, this is the kind of setup we have been talking about. Here's the writer sitting wonderfully on top of the tree. Okay. So that's the mongoose. This is the snack. And here are our spectators, Jungle Crow and Mina. Okay. Three spectators. The writer is sitting so nicely. Enjoyable position to be watching the match from. Now let's continue reading. The cobra stood on the defensive, swaying slowly from side to side, trying to mesmerize. Mesmerize means what? Magically persuade. Okay, and to, you know, lure him and to make him believe that he was stronger. Okay, so the cobra was not a taking right away. He was moving slowly from side to side, trying to lure the mongoose to make a wrong move. Because 
whoever see it's a game it's a mind battle also whosoever makes the first move not first move whosoever makes the first false move a wrong move will have to pay the price right even in playing games and all football or cricket whatever whenever an opponent or a player makes mistake he has to pay price for example take example of cricket match okay if a batsman hits a spinner tries to hit a googly you won't know so many terms so so, so consider okay there is a very deadly baller coming and bowling in what is the duty of a batsman in most of the time if the bowler is, is bowling brilliantly he has to play defensive shot if he goes on to play lofty shot in the air what may happen is he may get caught out and you know he may have to get back into the pavilion similarly if you talk about football games if the defenders are not defending well and if they let the forwards or midfielders pass the ball easily they may end up conceding goals right so this are the mistakes we are talking about so in this match also like the other conventional matches the cobra was actually waiting for the mongols to make mistake by trying to mesmerize him to make a false move okay but the mongols was also experienced campaign i think he won't make such move clear but the mongols knew the power of his opponents glassy and winking eyes and refused to meet them okay mongols was smart enough not to make a mistake for his hand instead he fixed his gaze gaze means view clear he was he fixed his gaze at a point just below the cobra's hood and opened the attack so what did he do he kept looking or fixing a point of attack clear he fixed the point of attack just below the cobra's hood for example this was cobra's hood and the mongols decided to you know keep attacking over here the reason we'll find to know okay and he opened the attack means he started attacking first he was the one who threw offense all right so what did he do moving forward quickly until he was just within the cobra's reach the mongols made a pretended move to one side okay as though he was moving the mongols made a pretended move to one side immediately the cobra thought the mongols was coming so he struck the cobra strikes with force okay and in this strike what happens his great hood came down okay so swiftly so fast so quickly that i thought nothing could save the mongols so the cobra struck very fierce and fast okay and the writer assumed that you know the mongols was dead but the little fellow jumped neatly to one side and darted in as swiftly as the cobra biting the snake on the back and darting away again out of reach wonderful see the cobra struck okay the cobra struck but the mongols was so fast that he quickly moved to the other side and you know he took opportunity to bite the snake back into his head by the time the snake had actually hit the ground and then he again moved back to safety so just imagine let's say the snake takes uh 5/10 of a second to strike into the ground so the mongos is fast enough he is faster let's say he takes 1/10 of a second to uh, let's say he takes 3/10 of a second to actually dart away to move away from the snake strike and by the time the snake strikes the ground he bites the snake onto one of his body parts let's say head or neck and then he is quick enough to move back even before the snake is able to react thereby weakening the snake in the process okay so what helps the mongoose is his agility his speed clear so speed matters right moving on at the same moment that the cobra struck the crow and the myna hurled themselves at him only to collide heavily in mid air okay so what happened the cobra at the same moment that the cobra struck the crow and the myna hurled themselves at him only to collide heavily in mid air so the crow and the myna were very excited watching the snake getting defeated or whatsoever so they were maybe trying to you know 
strike the mana okay but in the process of doing so and in the excitement they ended up colliding against each other in the middle of the air okay so let's say this is uh, mana okay and this is crow clear so the pictures are just for demonstration clear do not take them that seriously so this is mina and let's say that's crow hmm? so now they were so excited they were ready to pounce upon this cobra that they started flying and then there was a mid-air collision they collided with one another okay heavily in the mid-air shrieking insults at each other they returned to the cactus plant so <laughs> they were shouting at each other the two birds okay and then they thought nah they could not continue doing so so that is why they returned to the cactus plant okay a few drops of blood glisten on the cobra's back so now what happened cobra was bitten right so a uh, few drop of blood was actually shining on his back means he was getting starting to get injured okay quite interesting the cobra struck and missed again the cobra tried to strike he missed again the mongo sprang aside sprang means jump aside he jumped in and bite the cobra so who was winning clearly the mongoos was having the upper hand here thanks to speed agility and quick movement okay again the birds so the birds were getting excited unnecessarily so again what did the birds do the mena and the crow they dived at the snack okay bumped into each other instead and returned shrieking to safety of the cactus so for the second time what did the uh, for the second time what did the birds do they were excited and then they tried to you know pounce at the snack but instead ended up doing what colliding in the mid air and shouting at each other they went back to safety again okay foolish they were doing something very foolish right so now two rounds were completed right two rounds were already completed how many rounds two rounds so it looks like uh, the best of three for whatever we do not know so the scores are okay uh, what do you think the score lines are now it's snack versus versus what you all know that right come on tell me snack versus let's say cobra hmm? cobra versus mongoose right so what are the score lines at the end of round two in round one cobra zero snack one and round two cobra zero snack two so we talk about overall score at the end of round two how would it go cobra zero mongoose two right so mongoose was clearly leading by two points isn't it so let's continue and who were acting foolish the birds right they were trying to snoop down upon the snack without successfully doing so right so let's read para 15 now the third round followed the same course as the first but one dramatic difference so now the third round happened and you know more or less it was the same thing with the snack striking first missing on striking the mongoose directly and indirectly and then getting bitten and injured by the mongoose instead okay but uh, there was some difference there was a dramatic difference in this round what happened yeah. must be with the crow and mena let's find out the crow and mena still determined to take part in the proceedings dived at the cobra now for the third time they made this mistake they were pretty excited to take part in the tussle now finally they dived at the cobra but this time they missed each other as well as their mark so what happened they did not have mid air crash this time neither could they strike the cobra 
they miss each other they miss the cobra so what would happen now the mina flew on and reach its perch so what happened the mina flew on and somehow reach its safety but the crow tried to pull up in the mid air and turn back okay you know, you know the crow was trying to pull up in the mid air and turn back to safety in the second it took in the second that it took just a second in the second that it took the bird to do this the cobra whipped his head back and struck with great force his snout thudding against the crow's body okay so what happened see the birds the foolish birds were having a go at the cobra right somehow very luckily the mena escaped to safety but the crow was trying to pull back to safety but the cobra did not seem to like it and it so it clearly understood the intention of the crow so what did it do it snout here refers to this part okay all right so it struck fiercely i struck the bird and then the bird would die okay it struck fiercely it struck the bird with great force okay so what would happen as a result of the strike the writer will describe in the following paragraph i saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden so great the striking force was that the bird flew 20 feet away from where it was struck okay you can imagine the speed All right it fluttered about for a while then lay still so it fluttered its its wings for a few seconds but so venomous the cobra's poison is that the bird could no longer move it lay still indicating that it had died okay the mina remained on the cactus plant so now who remain only the mina and the writer the mina remained on the cactus plant and when and when see this is what happened to the crow clear yeah? mera okay let's continue and when the snake and the mongoose returned to fight very wisely decided not to interfere again so now the mina had learned his lesson but in the hard way he decided not to interfere in the fight seeing his friend die and i guess it was the right thing to do not guess i'm sure clear the cobra was weakening so due to multiple strike the cobra was getting weak and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raising himself on his short legs and with a lightning snap had the big snake by the snout so what happened with multiple strike the cobra was getting weaker and weaker and the mongoose was getting more confident it was brave and bold enough to confront him up front and this time what did it do it walked up to the cobra with its short leg and you know give a lightning snap means it took a great bite at the snout of the snake okay and now i think the game was over for the cobra okay the cobra writh writh and lashed about in a frightening manner and even coiled itself about the mongoose so as he took a great bite in an attempt to finish the duty the cobra you know it tried to coil his body across the mongoose trying to defend himself but all in vain okay it could do almost nothing okay the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle okay the mongoose held his grip very firmly and it was firm enough to make you know the snake die okay the snake died in the process it was very firm grip the snake kept fighting it tried to get out of the reach and clutch and bite of the mongoose but all in vain okay he then smelt along its quivering length gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes so what happened he smelt the snake okay took a smell along the length to check whether 
any life was still left, whether it was living or whether it was over. Okay. Then it gripped it round the hood, it means it held the snake around its hood very tightly and dragged it towards the bushes, which indicates that the snake was dead. Okay, so who won the battle? Of course, the Mongols. Okay. The Maina dropped cautiously to the ground. Now, Maina finally landed into the ground, hopped about it, jumped, peered into the bushes from a safe distance, and then with a shrill cry of congratulations, flew away. So, as if the Maina was very happy with the death of the uh, death of the cobra, it came close by to take a look and then give a shrill cry, a cry that is not very pleasant to sound. It just flew away. Clear. It is a wonderful description of a classic fight between a snack and a mongoose, where the mongoose emerged victorious at the end thanks to his skill. But one uh, bird lost its life. Okay. So, what do we learn? Do not quiver around in a situation without assessing the hazards okay so with this class we come to conclusion of explanation of 10th lesson of english uh, honeysuckles text called the banyan tree now we'll quickly summarize the question answer for that matter why don't you try making all the question answers and notes on your own and here's the deal if you still uh, have any sort of problem i'll always be there to help you just make sure you ask me on the google meet session that we conduct okay so you complete the following sentence the old banyan tree did not belong to grandfather but only to the boy because he was old enough and could not climb tree at 65 the small gray squirrel became friendly when the writer started offering him things and all when the boy started to bring in pieces of cake and biscuit, the squirrel, um, I'm not doing all these things. The young boy spent his afternoon in the tree, so fill them up. Answer the following question. It was to be a battle of champion. Why was it supposed to be a battle of champion? Because the snacks was an experienced campaigner. He had one of the most venomous bite. Okay, he was raring to go and he was famed as well. On the other hand, the mongoose was known for his agility, speed, skill and always had upper hand over the snack thanks to his darting movement right so what qualities i've already discussed about the qualities they are written here try to fill them okay only reading the text will help you try to use your own words also but not altogether different too what did the cobra and the mongoose do to show their readiness for the fight what did they do they took their position Right, raising hood and then straight uh, brushing the tail by the mongoose, so and so. They do two or three things, you got to write them too. Who were the other two spectators? Very simple the two birds, Maina, Jungle Crow. What did they do? They sat in a cactus bush before, so it's simple. I'm not helping you. Read the descriptions below of what the snack did and what the mongoose did arrange the action in proper order so see a few actions which the snack and the mongoose did are listed here okay clear in this box so you have to arrange them in proper order see what the mongoose or the snack did has not been arranged in order let's say the first activity has been listed last or midway and the last activity has been listed first midway or whatever so you got to arrange them in proper order corresponding to the way things have happened in the lesson okay four what happened to the crow in the end we all know what happened to the crow right it died what did the mana do finally as though he was paying homage he just flew around and then gave a shrill cry and flew away the word round usually means a kind of shape what is its meaning in the story so find it fine for war um, i'm not doing that also so moving on to b the words in this box are all words that describe movement so use them to fill in the blank in sentences below when he began to trust me the squirrel began dash into my pocket for morsels of cake what darting you do them on your own class 
fun verse in the story which show things striking violently against each other cobra struck the crow his snout dash thudding right so simple read the story go through the word and if you still if you have problem with words and their meanings i have given you master formula formula to master those words and meanings and use them in the form of sentence right so look at this sentences some sentences are given below what are you asked use would and could to replace this try everything class these are all doable exercises that is i have said if you still find them problematic i'll offer my assistance okay so let us conclude today's class with this i hope you'll be able to complete the exercises on your own like i've said if you still find anything problematic let us discuss them in the google meet session thank you everyone for being part of this class it was wonderful to be sharing my experience of this lesson with you all keep learning keep working hard thank you thank you everyone